Being a billionaire has its perks. For me personally, the one that I immediately think about is that they all seem to have at least one or two private jets fitted with like lavish furniture. They've got those tentative attendants with like every single drink somehow and uh, any food that you want. They just, they, it's just there on your small private jet. Maybe that's not exactly reality, but that's what I think about. And this guy, Jared Isaacman, is no exception because he doesn't own just one or two jets. He's got over 70. Jared Isaacman, like most billionaires, believe it or not, was not born a billionaire. In fact, Jared dropped out of high school to begin working full-time at the age of 16 at a credit card reader sales company. Six months later, he quit that and started his own payment processing company, focusing on the internet to make it easier for businesses to accept credit cards. That company would eventually become Shift4 Payments, the company that handles over 30% of all service industry credit card transactions within the United States. Today it's worth $7 billion, and Jared owns a good chunk of that. All this happened in a span of 20 years, and Jared was the driving force. Reportedly, an 80-hour work week was pretty standard for him. On a handful of occasions, Jared thought that he was going to burn out for sure. He needed a hobby. So he decided to start to learn how to fly, and quickly became obsessed. With money not being an issue, he quickly got certified on all sorts of planes, and then even military birds. Within six years of starting to learn how to fly, he, a former Thunderbirds pilot and other pilots, formed the Black Diamond Jet Team, performing air shows across the country. While doing this, Jared quickly had a business idea. The military's pilots are critical to missions around the world. Having them be at training bases costs money that otherwise could have gone to real-world missions. But more importantly, there are fewer pilots in the actual field when they're at the training bases. What if civilians could train and undergo simulations with pilot recruits then the military could let the trained pilots stay focused and action ready abroad. So Jared and his air buddies founded Draken International in 2011. They started going around the world buying cheap used military jets with the goal to offer services to the military. It did take a couple years, but eventually they did get a contract with the Wisconsin National Air Guard. It was a success, and soon enough, they started netting more and more contracts with various areas within the military, and even a couple from foreign allies. In fact, while information is scarce, things have been going so well for the company that they even created a European subsidiary to be able to focus on international growth. By now, Draken has over 70 military jets. But perhaps you're saying to yourself, Draken owns the jets, not Jared. And okay, I'll, I'll give you that, but I mean, Jared owns most of Draken, so I mean, in essence, he owns most of the military jets. Except now that's not exactly the case. He did end up selling a majority of his shares to private equity firms. And then, by my logic, he does not own most of those jets. But I mean, he used to. <laughs> and fun fact, he does have at least one military jet under his own personal ownership. Back in 2020, the Paul Allen estate sold the late billionaire's pristine MiG-29 to Jerry. He said that he keeps the MiG now at his Montana home and flies it on weekends to de-stress, which is just straight up gold. Hey, thanks for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed that short video. In case you somehow didn't know, Jared is actually going to space on September 15th, 2021, pending good weather. Netflix actually did a documentary on this all civilian mission. It's very cool. I totally recommend it. Uh, I recently just hit over 250 subscribers and other news. I know that's pretty much a completely insignificant amount when it comes to your average YouTuber, but I have seen the numbers go up slowly but surely every single day. And I just wanted to say to anybody that cares, uh, thanks. I'm going to be trying to make not only more videos, but slightly better quality videos <laughs> at a slightly regular interval. It is hard to do while I'm working a job, but hey, that's life. I do have a Patreon with the slim hope that maybe one day I could just focus on YouTube. If you're not interested, no worries, totally get it. Thanks to all 250 plus subscribers, and yeah, I can't wait to see you in the next one.